Hello everybody, welcome back once again to From the Ash, it's great to have you here. Now the pandemic, sadly it's not going anywhere, it looks as though, uh, you know, we've still got a lot of cases in this country, in the UK, a lot of deaths as well. One thing that I've uh, decided that I'm going to rethink a little bit recently is uh, the way that I do my food shopping, because at the moment I'm still going into supermarkets and buying the food in person, it's a little bit of normality, it's a little bit of getting out of the house. Um, and interacting with people as well, which is always good. But it is also the only opportunity I have to get COVID. <laughs> so I've decided that for the time being, I'm gonna try and do some click and collect shops, uh, which limits my interaction with other people and therefore limits my exposure to the virus. I have booked some click and collect slots for next week and the week after, but they didn't have a click and collect slot at Tesco, uh, which is normally where I do my shopping for this week. So this week I've had to come up with a different kind of plan. And what I decided I would do for my last shop, for a little while anyway, in person, is that I would do my shopping at Waitrose. Now I've never shopped at Waitrose before. I've been in there once or twice. I think I went in there once to buy a tea tray, which is pretty much exactly the kind of thing you would imagine somebody from Waitrose would want to buy. And I went in there once to buy a bottle of wine. Again, quite a typical Waitrose-y item, I would say. But I'm gonna go there this week and I'm gonna do the, the normal food shop. I'm gonna buy what I would call a normal shop. You know, s meals for seven days of the week, plus different things like washing powder, you know, washing up liquid, that kind of stuff. Let's see how much it costs in comparison with Tesco. Let's see what the actual experience of going into Waitrose is like. And let's also, most importantly probably, see how good the food is and the drinks are from Waitrose. Because everyone talks about it being like a next level, sort of high class, shopping experience and you know the products are better let's let's put it to the test let's see if they really are better this is waitrose on trial no that sounds bad that sounds like i'm taking them to court this is the waitrose test morning morning it's the next day i just woke up by the way literally within the last 20 minutes i woke up it was one of those i was meant to get up earlier than i did um, but Joe and me were just chatting last night late into the night and so the alarm got pushed further and further back Came straight down um, to get in the car and go well not straight down if I'd come straight down I'd be in my pants right now. Well Not my pants my boxers, but you anyway enough about my underwear What we are gonna talk about is Waitrose and that's where I'm going this morning. I'm going there now I'm gonna go and do the weekly food shop. I'm expecting big things because Waitrose you know, everyone talks it up as being this sort of height of middle classness. You know, you pay more money, you expect good things. And I think I am going to be paying more money, so I expect good things. Let's go to Waitrose. Right, I'm here. I've made it to Waitrose. As I pull up, everyone has started to arrive. So I'm going to keep this brief because I want to get in there, get on with the shopping and get myself home because I haven't had breakfast yet. So... You know, I'm getting hangry, uh, but I've got to put my mask on, of course. Masks on, glasses are steaming up already, which is a bad sign, but I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do the Waitrose shop. I'll show you um, as much as I can. I don't know how they feel about filming in Waitrose. Do they frown on it? Maybe they do, I don't know. We're gonna find out. everyone's shopping. I found a quiet aisle to let you know that my experience has been lovely. We've got pretty much half the shopping, but as I go around with a calculator, the budget is almost dead. So I think it's going to be an expensive trip. My glasses, as you can see, are steaming up. Oh, there we are. That wind out there has done things to my hair and the uh, wearing of the mask has done things to the beard. I apologize about the appearance, doing it for you guys. Not doing it for me because that was very expensive that trip I gotta say. So there you go. I spend the money so you don't have to. I did get myself a Jimmy's iced coffee though. Um, I don't know if you've ever had these but these are like the best instant iced coffee that I've ever tried. It comes in little cartons, about £1.50. I also had the hunger pangs. I mentioned I haven't eaten yet today. So I got myself a Waitrose, of course, what else? Egg mayo and bacon sandwich because there's a little drive home now and I don't think I'd be able to make it all the way home without just wanting to eat something. I'm really hungry, I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna eat the sandwich now. I'll try and put this here. Don't 
stay there. Oh, that's nice with the sun coming through. Oh, that's nice, you can't see me. Go with it there. Oh, that's good actually, I like that. So, how was Waitrose? I enjoyed the experience of it. It was a nice shop, very uh, quiet, very chilled. Uh, mostly old ladies in there today. They had like wax jackets on and wellies. It was quite posh in that sense. Um, and I didn't really, <laughs> that's why I didn't feel like walking around with a vlogging camera because I just don't think I would have fitted in with wax jackets and wellies, but there we go. One thing I did like about it, it wasn't very busy at all. There was hardly anyone in there and there was a man on the door making sure that there wasn't too many people going in and out, you know, in Tesco's and stuff. I feel like they don't have a lot of crowd control, but here he made sure that there was only a certain amount of people inside. So if you're looking for somewhere that's a bit more stress-free, a bit quieter, maybe try Waitrose. It's going to be a little bit more expensive for you. Of course it is. I mean, you know, I, I definitely blew the budget. I don't know exactly how much I spent. We'll have a look when we get home. Managed to get everything I wanted. Uh, everything was there. So happy about that. They had a good selection. It was a big store. I also really liked, by the way, I don't know if you saw um, in there, I think I got a shot of it. They had a refillable section where if you bring your own container in, you can fill it up with cereal. Um, they had one for washing powder as well, washing up liquid. Uh, they had one for wine, which I thought was amazing. If you're the sort of person who likes to look after the planet, we all should be that sort of person, um, then this is a really great place for that because like I said, they literally had an aisle where you bring your container in and it's like a dispenser and the cereal will go into your container and you take it home. So really, really like that. That was a really nice touch. The aisles are big. I know that sounds weird, but the actual aisles in the supermarket are big. So if you're, you know, there's there's space in there to, to roam a little bit with your trolley. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, it was a nice experience. I enjoyed Waitrose very, very much. The important thing is the, the price, I think. So let's go home. Let's check out the price, see what I spent. Uh, please just leave me to eat my sandwich and drink my Jimmy's iced coffee. See you at home. It was roughly the same sort of stuff that I would buy in Tesco. I didn't really get anything special or different. Milk, roughly the same price. Butter was pretty much the same. Bread was actually cheaper. This salad was reduced. Uh, that actually is about the same price as I would pay in Tesco, 169. The washing up liquid, this is the brand that we use, E-Cover and, um, or Ecover. I don't know how you say it. But anyway, this is the one that we use. And normally in Tesco, this is about £2.50, I think it is. In Waitrose today, this was like £1.60, I think it was. So that was a bargain, really happy with that one. Rice was pretty much the same, flour was the same. Uh, these were quite expensive. These were the uh, chicken breast fillets. They were like £3.60, I think. This though was a bargain. If you can see this, um, British chicken legs from Waitrose, £1.17 for those. Gonna use those in a curry, thought that was an absolute bargain. Uh, crisps, they were roughly the same price. Cooking chocolate, roughly the same. Uh, as you can see, there was quite a few yellow sticker items that I managed to pick up. Some finger rolls there, uh, some mints. I'm gonna do a chili, I think, tonight. Um, so for the chili, we've also got some black beans, got some onions. All of this sort of stuff was pretty much the same cost. Um, this was a little bit more expensive, cocoa powder, which I actually do need uh, to do a bit of baking. I'm gonna bake some brownies today. Um, so I needed this, but it was about £3.50, I think, so that was quite expensive. Eggs, they were definitely more expensive. £2.50 just for six, which I thought was a lot, because I normally pay £1.60, and that gets me 12 in Tesco. Got Branston pickle, can't not have a bit of, bit of Branston. Uh, Nutella for a recipe again. Uh, pesto, the pesto was more expensive today uh, than what I would normally pay, I think. Again, this was about two pounds. But as you can see, there's nothing particularly revolutionary here. It's all the normal sort of items, bananas. They actually look like a nice bunch of bananas. Got some coffee here. They had a Waitrose's own brand of coffee, but I didn't know how good it was. And I do like a good coffee. So I got this, this was on offer. It's actually only about two pounds, this one. Normally about three quid, I think, in Tesco. So this was a bargain, very happy with that one. Might look like a lot of Kinder chocolate. We don't normally buy this much chocolate ever, if any, um, but I'm doing a uh, Kinder Breno brownie video, uh, which should be up by now, actually. So if you're watching this video, uh, look up that one as well. I'll put the link down below for you. I'm gonna make a Kinder Bueno brownie. So that's what these are for. Got some Frankfurt sausages, which are for some chili dogs that I'm gonna make this week for a little treat. I do like some mixed berries. And I got this, which I think, ah, it's a papaya from Brazil. 
Uh, so I treated myself to that. That was actually a little bit more expensive than what I would like to spend. We got given a sample of these last week, so I got some because they actually made our bedding smell amazing, called Unstoppables, and um, it's the fresh flavoured ones. We wouldn't normally buy something like this, but they just smell so good that I'm just gonna use them for bedding. So that was the only real treat that I bought. But as you can see, I didn't really buy anything extravagant. It was pretty much just a normal weekly shop uh, for two adults, that's all I've done. So you would imagine that the price would be about the normal sort of 60 pound mark. That's normally my budget for a week shopping for the two of us, from a Tesco or a Lidl, or maybe even a Sainsbury's, um, you know, Morrison's perhaps. You know, we vary it up. I normally go to Tesco, but yeah, it's about 60 pounds that I spend a week. But today, the only difference, I did the shopping in Waitrose. It's got the reputation, of course, of being a slightly classier place to shop. You know, a bit more middle class, that kind of vibe. And I felt that when I was in there. It felt like everybody in there had more money than me. So I don't know if I'll fit in there long term. But it was a nice experience nonetheless. So let's have a look and see what the price difference is. I've got the receipt right here. Bearing in mind, budget's normally £60. Didn't buy anything different to what I'd normally buy in Tesco's. It was just Waitrose branded stuff. So instead of £60, I spent £80 and 28 pence. So I went over the budget by 20 pound and 28 pence just because I shopped at Waitrose. The proof is gonna be in the pudding, so to speak. Although I didn't buy any pudding this week. Ah, oh, that's something I forgot, I didn't buy. Oh no, I did, I'm gonna make brownies this week. That can be pudding. The proof can be in that pudding. Let's see if that 20 pound and 28 pence was money well spent, or in fact, if it was a waste of money and I could have just bought the stuff at Tesco. It did feel a bit silly when I was buying stuff that was like, I don't know, I bought some McCoy's crisps um, and they were like two pounds when actually I know at Tesco they're 125 at the moment. Because the branded stuff obviously is gonna taste the same no matter where you buy it. So the things like the chicken, uh, the butter, the cheese, you know, all that kind of stuff, the milk even, hopefully that stuff tastes a little bit better because I've paid more money for it. So let's have a taste, let's have a try. Let's see if the proof is in the pudding. And uh, this week we're gonna see if Waitrose charged me 20 pound and 28 pence extra for a reason. There we go, chili con carne is cooking. It will be ready in seven hours using all of my Waitrose ingredients. So you will hope, of course, that it will taste 20 pounds worth better <laughs> than one that I would have made with Tesco's ingredients. This is the first test for Waitrose. I must say, when I was cutting up the veg, it did look fresher, it was plumper, it looked nicer. I can't really explain it, it just looked fresher. That's all I can really say. The proof is in the pudding and that's gonna be ready in seven hours. Seven hours later, my chili con carne is ready. Everything in this chili con carne was bought today at Waitrose. So this is a Waitrose meal. We've had chili many times, you know, here and with ingredients from Tesco or Sainsbury's or whatever. We've even got the Waitrose cheese, as you can see. Um, I might just try the cheese rogue. Let's see what it's like. I've got a mature cheddar. Very, very nice, I think, don't you think? You can taste a difference in the quality of the cheese, and this wasn't even that much more expensive than the, you know, the regular cheese. I think it was like £2.50, something like that. Let me try the chilli without the cheese. I normally have cheese on the chilli, but I'll just have one without for a minute. It's nice, it's got a really deep flavour. You can really taste, it's, I mean, it's been cooking for seven hours. It feels like it's been marinating and brewing for a long time. It's nice, we've also got this, sour cream. And, can't have a chili without some nachos. Very nice, I'm happy with this so far. And this wine is also from Waitrose. I didn't buy it on this trip, but I did buy it at Waitrose last time I went in. Very good, it's a Pinot Noir. 
It's not too harsh, this one is quite light. I'm happy, it's a good meal. Waitrose, you've done all right. I was trying to think of the best way to kind of showcase Waitrose to you, and I feel like I've done a pretty good job. We've been to Waitrose, I've shown you the shop, I've talked you through the experience, yeah, I've shown you obviously what we've bought, and then I've made a meal with some of it as well. If you've got any questions, drop it down in the comments below and I will answer them for you. Uh, but if not, thank you very much for watching. I am going to do more of these types of videos where I go to different shops and kind of look at budget and see how much things cost compared to other shops and stuff. But I'm going to finish this before it goes cold because that's a problem when you video your meals. Things go cold pretty quick so you have to talk quickly so that's what I'm trying to do. But Waitrose, I've done well. Thank you very much Waitrose and thank you for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.